In the last 10 years, since Western intervention in Afghanistan, there has been real progress for women. But overall, one could not deny the, the progress that we have had. You could not even talk to me till, for example, like this 11 years ago. So the, it's a huge change. We have um, nurses trained to, uh, to provide the women with healthcare services, with the basic needs. Um, we have 35% uh, of the student, female students in school. Despite the gains in employment and education, women have very real fears that their rights could be traded away in peace settlements. If women's rights are traded away, what kind of peace will we have? What is also important is that, okay, what are we going to trade off? Our, the, the, the rights of the 50% of the, of the society, and then how do you think that this is going to turn out in terms of, in terms of a, a sustainable peace? Do you believe in such a sustainable peace where 50% of the population would not be even allowed to, to become a human being on the street? That's the question. Afghanistan has a vibrant women's movement. Activists there have been mobilizing and campaigning for their rights. The green scarf used by Afghan Women's Network is a symbol of that movement. At the edge of the green scarf, we have the flag of Afghanistan, and there is a, uh, we had a um, slogan which meant that our vote is our future. It means we need to be part of the voting process. We, it's not only to be as voters, we as candidates, we women can make a difference. Fighting for human rights and women rights is something very, uh, I mean, everyone's a responsibility. Um, we don't feel that we are uh, that we are not together if we don't um, live in the same country. We are kind of the world today is globalized, and we we all uh, think that we are working in the same family. Join Afghan women and stand with them in the fight for their rights. Add your picture to the photo petition on Channel 16.